Hello my loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new weekly vlog. So throughout this vlog, you guys are going to be following me along as I do every and anything. I really don't know what we have planned, but we're going to figure it out together. So if you guys are new here, welcome. You have found your way to an amazing place on Beyonce's internet. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for clicking on yet again another video. If you are not subscribed, girl, let's just, let's just, get the prerequisites done you know what i'm saying so make sure you guys are subscribed to my youtube channel hit that red subscribe button down below and join the family give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy and don't forget to drop a comment down below with your thoughts comments questions opinions anything that's on your mind after you watch this video leave it down below and without further ado let's go ahead and get started <sighs> it's my hair being in the sleep bun for me I recorded a week in my natural hair. If you guys didn't see that video, make sure you guys check it out. But I walked you guys along a whole week in my natural hair, what I use, what I do, how I go to sleep, everything about my natural hair, anything I do throughout the week is documented in that video. But I decided to do a sleep bun today because, you know, I just wanted to switch things up. I even gave y'all a little side part with it, period. But... <laughs> I also, I've just been in a good mood. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I also went to Sephora today and I recorded a in-store shopping experience during the Sephora VIB sale. So if you guys missed that content, go back and watch it. I know the sale is going to be over by the time this vlog comes out, but if you guys just want beauty recommendations or y'all just want to support me, go watch some videos, okay? Go watch some videos. And i just been in a mood where I'm like, on go like i'm in such a productive mode and when i'm in these modes i never like take it for granted i always take advantage of it so you guys are probably like and i know some of you guys even said it like the consistency is there we see it we appreciate it and i love you guys and i appreciate you guys for noticing that tuning in supporting i have been trying my hardest to work for what i want period and i'm hoping that in my birthday which will be probably two weeks after this video goes out because my birthday is on may 6th that we we are hitting 20k subscribers we're doing it by my birthday by may 6th we're gonna be at 20k subscribers but either way today is saturday april the 6th so literally one month until my birthday hello <laughs> hello I, I think it's 30 days until my 30th birthday Y'all know I don't know how to count how many days until me, because I Google everything. 30 days until my 30th birthday! <laughs> like, this is crazy. My last 30 days being 29. Hello? But either way, I'm about to go to the gym so I could look good on my 30th birthday, so I could feel good on my 30th birthday, so I could be good on my 30th birthday, and we're going to the gym together. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove my makeup i don't necessarily have makeup on but when i went to sephora i did swatch some things on my face so i literally have one foundation on this cheek and a whole nother foundation on this cheek but i love these neutrogena makeup wipes because they are fragrance free and they don't break me out so this is what i used to take my makeup off before i go to the gym I didn't put anything on my forehead. I just put stuff on my cheek. And then when I wash my face later, I'm still going to use an oil cleanser to make sure anything that's under my skin comes out. But yeah, I have been doing my Dermalogica treatment, the dark spot peel. And I've definitely been seeing a difference in my skin. So I'm going to keep using that until my birthday. Because once again, we need to look good for the third year. We need to be good for the third year. We need to feel good for the third year. All of that, all of that, all of that. So y'all can see skin. She still looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of this a milk makeup primer. Just as like a little moisturizer for my skin. So it doesn't get dry. Since I 
I removed that makeup. I don't like my skin feeling dry in the gym. And I feel like this Milk Cloud, what is this? What's the real name of this? This Milk Cloud Glow Primer is a great, like, just lightweight moisturizer. If you, Even if you're not putting any makeup on top of it, like, it doesn't do too much, but it still gets the job done, so. I'm gonna change my gym sneakers because I feel like running in those Adidas just doesn't do well with my ankles. Like, my ankles have been feeling kind of crazy, and I'm like, the only thing I've changed are my gym sneakers. So, I'm actually gonna put on my Vapor Max today. Because I like running in my Vapor Max. I told y'all already. Running in them sneakers, it just does something for me. These are my favorite workout sets. They're from Target. From the brand Joy Lab. This specific set is not available anymore. But... They have similar sets available. But this is ribbed material. I'm gonna put the body real good. <laughs> I'm gonna reapply my deodorant. This is the deodorant that I like to use that is bulletproof and will get me through my workout with no doubts, no concerns ever. It's from Salt and Stone. And I literally just picked up another one of these from Sephora when I went in store because these deodorants like whenever I leave the house this is what I'm putting on when I'm in the house I'll wear the Sephora collection one because I don't sweat as much in the house but in any condition where I know I'm going to bust a sweat this salt and stone is my my savior period oh the skin look real good do y'all hold on hold on because I don't think y'all really see what's going on I don't think y'all really see what's going on I don't think y'all really see what's going on. Like, excuse me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just parked at the gym. I smell so good. I put this Nest fragrance oil on. This is a Turkish rose. So good. So good. So good. When I get to the point where I'm purchasing fragrances again, I'm definitely going to get the full size of that because I told myself I'm not getting any more full size fragrances until I finish half of my collection. And so far, I've only finished one. So, we have some time to go, but let me call my sister Brown and then I'm going to go in the gym. So, I'll see you guys. Long time when I kill a month, miss. Hey loves, happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, April the 7th, and I'm at the gym bright and early. I told myself it's either I'm going to go to the earlier church service or I'm going to go to the gym before church. But I feel like I like my church service time. It be lit in there. Um, I'm like, I don't know what they be doing early in the day, but it be lit during my church service. So I was like, I'm going to just knock the gym out before church, go to church, and then do like my whole Sunday reset. I want to wash my sheets. I want to do laundry. My laundry is literally touching my ceiling. Like I want to cook today. I haven't cooked in so long. I've just been eating like quick meals. So today I guess we could call it a Sunday reset if we will. So I'm about to get in the gym. My hair looks a mess. I took my bun down yesterday because I don't like sleep with scrunchies in my hair. And I just put the bonnet on. And then this morning, I tried to regroup it. But y'all can see the slickation is going and all of that. So I'm going to slick it back down when it's time to go to church. But I was just like, I ain't doing that for the gym. I ain't doing that for the gym. So either way, I'm going to go get my workout in. I didn't record yesterday because it wasn't many people in the gym. But you know when you could feel somebody looking at you? Your girl been in here putting in work 30, well, 29 days until, oh my god, I have 29 days left for you, 29. <laughs> but yeah, let me um go get this workout in. It's currently 8 o'clock, 8.03. I'm trying to leave out the gym by like 9.15 the latest, so like an hour. That should be good, right? How long y'all be working out for? Because I'll be in there for like an hour. Maybe I want to have some times if you include the sauna. Yeah, I feel like an hour is a good amount of time for me. This is why, let me show you. This is why I'm not able to work out after I get Lisa. Because I sweat bad. This mix on SoundCloud is the dance hall and Afrobeats mix. <laughs> Like I said, ain't nothing to the pain we can 
change the last name, what's happening? Cause you look so good. Tell me why you wanna work here. I put you on the front page of a King magazine, but you gon' get yourself hurt here. Hey, baby, I bought you in the back just to have a conversation. Really think you need some ventilation. Hey guys, I'm back home. I just showered and got myself together for church. Put this bum bag down. It's not the best, but it's literally coming out in a few hours. But I wanted to get on the camera to show you guys me doing like my little face for the day. I'm not putting on makeup just because after church, I'm literally coming home to like wash my hair and stuff. So I'm just like, I'm not going to put myself through the trenches, but I'm, I want to try this. I got this from Sephora yesterday. This is the Ilia Base Face Milk. It's a lightweight moisturizer, hydrating, soothing, plumping, a barrier renewal complex. It's also fragrance-free and non-comedogenic. So, hoping that, you know, this makes a difference on my skin. So, I've seen people try it on its own and also use it before, like, they do their makeup. So, I want to try it just on its own today. So, this is a bottle. I got the travel size. I initially was going to get the full size, but I'm like... I don't know if I'm gonna like it. So I'm gonna try it out and then if I like it before the sale ends, I'll get the full size. So I'm not sure how much of this I should be using. I'll try like this much. Can y'all see? Okay. Yeah, no scent. Ooh. I like the consistency of it. And I also wanted to try it on its own just in case I have any reaction. I'm like, I did my morning skincare routine as I usually do and then I'm just putting this on top Ooh, okay really yeah mm, I like mm -hmm. it was real good okay so Putting that on my face, and then I'm just gonna put on some. What's on my lip? I'm gonna put on this Clarins lip oil if I could get it out. This is in the shade 01 Honey, and I didn't put anything on my lips, so this is gonna be a true try on of how moisturizing this is because it's girl, so good. This is dirty cash, but it's literally worth it. And then I don't have any contacts in today, so glasses it is. I'm putting on these Dolce & Gabbana glasses. They are currently filthy. Awesome is my name. You do everything. Ooh. Cannot wait to worship today. Today's also the first Sunday of the month. So, I feel like church may be a little packed today. A little better. Hold on, let me clean them for real with the micro, micro uh, fiber cloth. And real quick before I head out, I wanted to share a PR package that I got. Literally, this came right on time because, because this here is getting done right after church. This is from Olaplex. They have been spoiling your girl, and I love it here. So... They actually went ahead and sent me good here makes a great weekend. <laughs> you are, are you festival ready? Ooh, oh, that makes sense. So it has a list of everything that's inside. So let's, let's dig in girls. Oh wait, <gasps> oh, hold on. I didn't even peep this. Okay, so inside we have the number five conditioner. We have the number four D, a dry shampoo. It's in like an aerosol spray. Super cute. And all of these, I believe, are like travel friendly. We have another one of these brow bond building serums. I actually want to start using this tonight so that I can hopefully have some brows by my birthday. We're going to see child. And then... We have this number seven bonding oil. I heard that this oil is absolutely fab. So I'm really excited to finally have it and try it out. This is it. This is one fluid ounce. 
So the smaller size, I can't, let me smell it. It don't really smell like nothing from here, but we gonna see what is, what is working with. What you working with. And then they also sent over a number four, the shampoo. And I told you guys, rushing. <laughs> I told you guys that I cur I have the shampoo and conditioner, but I left it in my suitcase back home. So I'm so hyped that I have them here. And then, y'all, yeah, the fun the fun stuff. They sent over a sticky grip. Another sticky grip. I'm hyped because I actually wanted to order another one so that I could put my light up when I'm recording. Y'all will see the filming setup, hopefully, in this vlog. They sent over one of these selfie ring lights. So this is, I guess, like a festival care package. So this is a clip on phone ring lights uh, i have one of these but i don't know where it is oh and it's branded period all the plaques period and then last but not least they included this disposable camera and it says all the plaques on it this is so freaking cute oh my god wow Thank you so much, Olaplex. That was super thoughtful. I was expecting that. The products alone had me stunned. And then y'all throwing a little extra. Y'all throwing a little extra. Period. So thank you so much, Olaplex. Thank you so much to you guys for always supporting me and allowing these brands to gain visibility to my social media platforms. I love you guys more than you guys would ever understand. And now I'm going to go ahead and get ready to head. Well, I'm already ready. I just need to leave out the house to go to church. So I'll see y'all at church. Why this song has me so emotional this morning like wow wow the power the power Aesthetic investigates on a case, okay? And yes, my Christmas tree is still up. <laughs> Y'all probably think I'm trolling at this point, but honestly, truly, I just, I can't gather the energy to do it right now, period. But either way, yeah. Why is my face breaking out? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? I was so hyped for this product and it literally broke me out in a matter of hours. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. It is absolutely slow for that Ilya face base milk situation. So I honestly was looking at TikToks. I was just scrolling through Sephora sale TikToks because what else are we doing at this time? And I saw this girl talking about, like she did a comparison between the Road face milk toner and the Ilya face base milk base product the one I used earlier and she was basically saying that the Ilya product has a clog pouring ingredient in it and it's called chlorine algae I've never heard about it before but she was basically just saying if you have acne prone skin most likely it's gonna make you break out so said so done it's not like major but it's something y'all know my skin has been doing really 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 well knock on wood but I was just here looking at myself and I'm like, something ain't right. So anyway, it's not crazy yet, knock on wood, but yeah, that product is going back. So it was a sign and this is why I say God makes everything happen for a reason. So you gotta listen to him. 
But it was the reason why I exchanged that full size for the travel size. Because the full size, I'm like, hold on. First of all, this is $58. And even the girl, when she was doing her video, she was, you know, not a girl of melanin. So I was a little skeptical. But I was like, let me listen and hear what she actually has to say. Because I haven't seen anyone compare the road to the Ilya. And she was basically saying the road is way less expensive. It's like 30 bucks, And the Ilya is 58 I'm not paying $58 to break out. <laughs> Yeah, that is going right back to the store. And now I'm really curious and I really want to try this say one because if that's going to break me out, I could go back to the store at the same time too, baby. Let me know. Tell me from now. But hey guys, I think kind of right here. So I just wanted to come give you guys an update. Yeah. It was not the Ilya Face Based Milk that was breaking me out. It was the Urban Decay Foundation. It was the Urban Decay Foundation. But... It still stands that the Ilya face based milk has a clog pouring ingredient. But what was breaking me out, based on Kinesthetic Investigates, it was that Urban Decay Foundation, baby. I told you guys more about it in my live that I did this past Friday. But yeah, I'll continue using the Ilya, the Urban Decay Foundation. Oh, baby, she's back at the store. But either way, I'm sitting here and I'm literally editing my in store sephora vlog for you guys to go up tomorrow and tell me why this always happened not always but knock on wood i'm just knocking 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 i edited like 10 minutes of the vlog yesterday and my laptop was just acting wonky so i'm like maybe it needs to be restarted i restarted my laptop and the entire project and out the window and whenever that happens i take it as a sign i'm just like there was a reason why I had to re-edit it. Either I left something and that wasn't supposed to be in there or I just could have done it better and I probably just wasn't giving it my all because of multiple things, lack of energy, X, Y, Z. So yeah, but either, oh, I just found these um, sneakers. A link for these sneakers. I'm about to post it for you guys. It's these gold Vimeros. And I know you guys love Vimeros just as much as I do. So I'm gonna post it on my community page because i know that by the time this vlog comes out it'll most likely be sold out so let me post that now please hold and pov they said the solar eclipse could burn your retina in your eye and cause you to lose vision oh baby <sighs> oh baby say less say less i'm not playing with these people in a solar eclipse i'll be in the house with my sunglasses on Prayed up. Don't play with me. But hey guys, happy Monday. Today is Monday, April the 8th. And today is the day of the solar eclipse. They did not have to tell me twice that our vision could be impaired and never restored from this situation. But I just finished washing my hair. I'm trying to, I'm going to try a wash and go with you guys. So you guys should have seen that. Well, this, that video, that video is going up before this one. So you guys would have seen that already. But Y'all, I don't know what's going on outside, but this is none of my business. I promise you. So yeah, today's Monday. I'm in a okay mood. I've just been trying to push through. I feel like it's just a lot happening right now. My life is in such a transformative phase, but we're going to speak about that a little later. I have some chit chat. Get ready with me videos going up for you guys. But y'all, I have so much content that I need to get up. And I'm trying to catch up and get everything out before my birthday. Because when I go on my trip, I want to give you guys that content like quick, fast, and in a hurry. So I'm trying to upload the videos I have. I'm trying to upload videos on things you guys can shop during the Sephora sale. So if y'all want to get anything, you guys can get it with a discount. So I'm out here working. Okay, I'm out here working. And I appreciate y'all for always supporting me. I appreciate you guys for acknowledging the amount of effort that i've been putting into my channel not just as of recent but just in general i've been doing this for this year makes six years i want to say because i started i think august of 2018 i don't remember y'all my brain is just all over the place nowadays but either way this year makes six years since i started my youtube channel i believe and i have not been playing with myself i have not been playing with y'all we are almost at 20k we're about to hit 20k for my birthday like it's a very big thing going on around these parts of town and we need to be very focused around this time and we need to be very productive and that's exactly what i've been doing okay i've been uploading shorts every day one short today 
will keep the haters away. <laughs> So that's what I've been doing. I've just been strategizing, trying different things, giving you guys what y'all asked for, and just doing what I have to do so I could do what I got to do. Because at the end of the day, what? Mm-hmm. The day got to end, period. But um, I came on here to tell y'all something, but I forgot what I had to say. They doing the grass right now, so I'll be back. Kim told me she don't like my drip. Why you don't like my drip? These glasses is tea. Oh yeah, it's very bright outside. I don't know if it's because I had these glasses on for a while. You need to know how I know they don't work because the person said you will be able to see on water. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kim, let me live. So these are not the official like solar eclipse glasses. These are just glasses to have on in the thrift shop. I just put them on because I just figured they would have the most like, um, like prescriptive thing for today. Like, you know, the most shield. Okay, try it out. Let's see. Huh? Try it out and let's see. Try what? Try it out and let's see. No, I'm not trying anything. I'm not losing my vision for nobody's solar eclipse. Mm, mm honey. I need to at least see my 30th birthday. <laughs> like, please. <laughs> Solar eclipse. I don't care to see that. Everybody traveling, traveling, relevanting. Mm -mm. And it's the fact that they said even if you got the glasses, you can't even look at it. Um, you can't see it. Wrong. Right. If you have the right. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. So the, do the glasses even work? Yeah, I don't know. I doubt it. And especially kids. Kids not gonna listen to that. Are you taking that down to right through free club? Hey loves, it is hours later and the solar eclipse I believe is done. I didn't check for it, I didn't look for it, I didn't investigate it. I was just not interested and that's just me personally. Maybe I don't know if I ever told you guys, but loss of sight runs in my family. So anything that can contribute to it, anything that can cause it, I don't play those games. So that's that's just me personally. But I tried a new gel today. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I just got dressed to go to the gym. So I put this headband on to like hold my hair back for when I'm in the gym. And your girl's doing green today, a little green number. Oh. <laughs> I am about to head to the gym. And I'll bring you guys with me if it's not packed. If it's not packed, I will record. If it is packed, I will not record. I just got home from the gym. Shower. Don't mind my hair, y'all. I'm going to be looking good tomorrow, so just don't mind my hair right now. But I wanted to get on here to give you guys an update because this is officially my third week using this Dermalogica Power Bright Dark Spot Peel. And I just wanted to give you guys an update. So, I heard that the girls... Oh, let me put these on first. I put on my topicals faded mask when I do the face mask because it holds me accountable to make sure I'm using these consistently. Cause these dark circles, they got to go. They gotta go. Okay. So eye masks are on and yes, these eye masks work. I ordered three of them during the Sephora so I was not playing any game. I should get another one. They're so good at helping fade your dark circles under your eyes. So, as I apply my face mask, I'm going to talk to you guys about things that I've been hearing or just like questions about the face mask in general. So, this mask, I did a whole video on it, trying it for five days. So, if you guys didn't see that video, make sure you guys go back and check that out. But, yeah, this mask, it doesn't claim to clear your dark spots like that will happen over time but the claim of the mask is to help fade visible dark spots like new dark spots and i think it's also important that we acknowledge like what you use while using the face mask like what other skincare products you're using like you definitely need to be using you definitely need to be using a sunscreen and I wouldn't recommend using retinol while you're using this just because it has 12% of, um, I think it's 12% AHAs and PHAs. So you don't want to burn your skin out. But 
I heard some people saying like, oh, I heard it doesn't work or it doesn't work, whatever. You have to look at your skin in general, right? You can't just say, oh, I'm putting this on and I'm not seeing results. It's like, okay, what else are you doing with your skin? Which is why it was important for me to show you guys the other products that I use while using this mask. So in that video, I showed you guys my night routine, my night skincare routine on nights when I do the mask and on nights when I don't do the mask. So I do the mask Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And every other day I'm doing like my normal night skincare routine. And then I did a YouTube short showing you guys my morning skincare routine, which is basically the same. My morning skincare routine remained the same. So I am not a reviews girly. That's one thing about me. Like I rather listen to an opinion of someone I trust rather than reviews because you can't respond back to people or to my knowledge, most sites, you can't respond back to people who leave reviews and be like, hey, are you using retinol or like what other skincare products are you using? You can't have that conversation with them. Once they say, oh, I use it for five days and it doesn't work. Like you're not saying nothing. You're not saying, oh, I did this. So I'm using this as well. So that's why I don't really mess with reviews. Like I rather listen to a trusted opinion from, you know, content creators and just people I follow. So that's just my little spiel on that. But for me, yeah, I've been seeing it throughout the vlogs. Skin has been skinning. And this is the only thing that I change. And it has not broke me out to date. Knock on wood. I'm just knocking on wood this whole vlog. <laughs> Woody wood wood. I went ahead and I applied the mask. And I'm just going to let it sit for 30 minutes as I have my dinner. <laughs> but I'm literally in love with what this face mask has been doing for my skin. So the link will be down below. Dermalogica Power Bright to Dark Spots Peel 12% AHA PHA. Trenexamic acid, mandelic acid, turmeric butter blend. Like my skin has just been thriving and I love it here. I absolutely love it here. So the link will be down below. Do what you gotta do with that info. It's currently available at Ulta. It's not in Sephora yet at the time when I'm recording this video, but whenever it becomes available at Sephora, I will let you guys know. But Ulta usually emails like 20% off coupons that you can use on anything. So make sure you guys take advantage of that coupon if you want to buy this, okay? I know sometimes when you're working on your vision and your goal, the enemy will try to make you feel like it won't be what God has said it would be. But I stand to declare you as a living testimony that even through the hills and valleys, whatever God has said over your life, it will come to pass. Amen. And don't you stop until you get your portion. I love you mixes are giving me the same let me see what my friends are listening to friends mix i'm vanilla baby April the 10th and I'm about to get ready for my day I've been up for a few hours working oh my god last night I probably experienced the worst brain full situation since I moved to Houston Texas y'all it literally sounded like my like the, it was crazy like when I say crazy I mean crazy. I think I tried to record some videos, but y'all, I was half asleep. It was raining from like 
3.30 to 4.15 a.m. Let me see the videos I took because I was just recording and trying to sleep at the same time. Let me see. The lightning was so strong that it was activating my nightlight in my room, which is like motion censored. And my blinds were closed. Like the lightning was strong. It kept booming right after I was done recording. I'm like, ugh. But either way, the rain was bad last night. So I didn't really sleep well because I was up from basically 3.30 to like 4.30. Yeah, so I'm going to get myself together. I want to like clean up around the house. And I also need to go to Walmart's Aldi and Forever 21. So I ended up getting two tops yesterday when I was in Forever 21. I had went to the Forever 21 in the Galleria Mall. And... The tops were cool, but they just don't go with the bottom that I have. So I'm going to return them and I'm going to see if a different Forever 21 has what I like what I have in mind. Oh, also, not me being rude. Happy Eid to all of my supporters who are celebrating today. Today is Eid. So I think it's pronounced Eid Mubak. I think. Don't come for me if I'm saying it incorrectly. But today is Eid. And my homegirl Fatima, my closest friend here in Houston, Texas, she is Muslim and she does own a brand, Musul Beauty. She's actually having a sale today. By the time you guys see this vlog, the sale will be over. But if you guys want to support a woman Muslim owned brand, check out Musul Beauty. But she's getting like all dolled up and dressed up today for Eid. And I was like, girl, if you want me to take pictures of you, let me know. Because y'all know I've been in love with my camera and the pictures that it's been taking. So she was like, yeah. I want to take pictures today so i'm like okay cool so i found this location for us to go take her pictures and i'll bring you guys along when i go take her pictures but i'm just trying to make myself look halfway decent <laughs> i'm not putting any makeup on i'm just going to slip my hair up i'm using <laughs> my favorite tgi and gel this is the miracle repair miracle styling gel it's currently discontinued but if you guys want it check out your um local beauty supply stores because i ended up finding it at a beauty supply store on 25th street in new york but i'm gonna do that after i'm done with work for the day go take her pictures and what else i just edited and uploaded a video for you guys early this morning the review of the urban decay foundation so if y'all didn't see that video make sure y'all go check it out and now I have so much content I want to upload and it's just not enough days. It's not enough days, but basically, that's not scrunchy. Basically, I still want to record my Sephora haul, but the rest of my Sephora stuff is, isn't coming until tomorrow. So I'll just record that tomorrow and put it up Friday. And I also wanted to give you guys a fragrance video. So, I need to figure out how I'm going to do that. How about, I'll probably put that up on Saturday. But I'll see. Because I told you guys, we have a lit weekend planned ahead. So, I also don't want to overwhelm myself. And I also still have to upload my uh, upload, edit my vlog for Sunday. So, lots to do in the next few days. Oh, also, I don't know if I told you guys. I'm having a girls day tomorrow with... Sully and Ciara. So Sully moved to Houston a few months ago. If you guys don't follow her, I recommend you guys do. With no, she's back to our regular Instagram. So it's just Sully G. And she has a YouTube channel as well. I love her content. I love the way she edits. But her and I, how did we meet? I forgot how we met. But we've been good friends since we both lived in New York. And she lives in Houston now. And I literally only saw her one time since she moved. When we went to the um, Link Up HTX event, she was there. And I haven't seen her since. So I decided to plan a girls' day. We are going to the, I think it's the Museum of Fine Arts in Houston. They have this black artist exhibit in the museum until the end of May. Um, his name is, I want to say it incorrectly, it's like Kahinde Wiley. But he's basically, I never knew this, and I don't know if I'm late, I don't know if y'all know this, but when artists have exhibits in museums, 
it basically goes on tour so i think his exhibit was in like the fine arts museum in san francisco first and houston is like the second stop and then it'll go to like a fine arts museum in another city i never knew that but he's in houston right now until the end of may so if you guys want to check it out you guys can i'll show you guys when we go tomorrow and yeah so thursday today i'm looking up with fatima tomorrow girls day friday i don't have anything planned saturday is everyday people sunday is the yoga class and then that'll be the end of this vlog so we have a lot left to cover so hold tight hold tight i did also end up canceling my nail appointment because i thought about it and i'm like I'm basically gonna get my nails done again in two weeks for my birthday and the nail designs that I want or I get they're like a hundred a hundred plus dollars I'm like to spend a hundred dollars now and then another hundred dollars in two weeks my pockets can't handle that and also the time of being in a nail salon you guys saw when I went to get this set done I was complaining about how long I was in a nail salon because I like to just be in and out like I cannot sit down so I have to mentally prepare myself for that and I knew I had a lot to do this morning. I had work to finish for work. I wanted to edit my video before I started working. And I also knew I had to take the pictures of Fatima this evening. So it was just a lot. And I'm just like, I feel like I'm just not meant to get my nails done today. So I just canceled my appointment. So either way, that's what happened. So I'm just now able to do my morning skincare routine because I've just been on go. My skin has been doing super well and i also wanted to thank you guys so much for the support on my recent uploads like y'all have literally been knocking the ball out of the park this is the most consistent i have been on youtube probably since the pandemic i think so correct me if i'm wrong but besides like vlogtober vlogmas like on a regular month this is the most consistent have been on youtube and you guys have been loving the content i've been posting and i'm confident in the content i've been posting so i'm just really happy with myself because i set goals for myself for this month and i've literally been overperforming. so shout out to me i'm trying to do better on short form content so that's like my focus for i guess the remainder of the month but i'm doing something so I'm proud of my little son. <laughs> sunglasses in my bag because the sun the sun is peeping i told y'all it was raining last night and the sun is trying to do this big one but it's like nah just kidding nah just kidding like no you need to come out you need to come out glasses i'm gonna wear my Lueve sunglasses of paula abiza ones absolutely love these literally my favorite pair of sunglasses so i just got a package and i'm really interested to see what it is so oh not the sun okay ask and you shall receive <laughs> i'm about to go get my package real quick so i can show it to you guys before i head out please hold it feels so good outside like the weather is literally perfect i have a jacket that i'm gonna throw on because it says it's a high of 75 degrees and i'm not playing so got my package it's actually the sneakers not the box being beat up like this they just sent it in a like why is my box like <laughs> but these are the sneakers ah! <laughs> they look even better in person these are the sneakers that i got i told you guys to grab these on my community page so hopefully by the time this vlog comes out they're still available these are the nike Pomeros, the golden white this is a summer release i don't know if this is the official release or if snipes just got them early i got these off of snipes but they're also available on shoe palace as well as dt 
LR Villa, but y'all look how freaking stunning these are. Like, tell me, this is not a mother freaking shoe. So I just got these, I'm happy because this is actually a pair of sneakers I kind of want to wear on Saturday. So yeah, like, <laughs> they're cute. All right, so I'm gonna record like an unboxing short form content when I get back home because I already feel like I'm delayed in my schedule. Like, there's a piece of the box in the bag. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but yeah, so let's go ahead and head out. I'm gonna go to Aldi's. I am going to go to Forever 21 and I'm also going to go to Walmart. Hopefully I can make it to all three. Fingers crossed. Let's go. All right, I'm in Forever 21. This is literally the top I saw online that I wanted. It says Juicy and Sweet. And I like the colors in this top. Let me try it on real quick. Hey guys, I just came from taking Fatima's pictures. It was so windy. It's still windy outside. But her pictures came out so far. Let me show y'all. She should have posted them by the time y'all see this vlog. But like, look look at the material. This is how you eat, okay? You have to eat on eat. Her outfit is so cute. So, she's happy with her pictures. We took them on my camera. So cute, right? I am at the gym now because I told myself after we play, we work. Or something like that. <laughs> After we work, we play. After we play, we work. Girl, whichever way you want to put it, the work will get done. I have like my iPad, my other camera. All of this is coming in the gym with me because I don't play about leaving electronics in my vehicle. I'm so exhausted. I cannot wait to lay down tonight. But I'm going to go in here and work out. I know it's going to be crowded. It's crowded every time I go in here at this time. So yeah, I'm not even going to say I'm going to record because I'm literally going to go in here, get my workout in go back home and mind my business I love the way I need to get off of TikTok hey guys it is Thursday April the 11th and I'm doing my hair and I was like let me turn the vlog on so y'all can really see this motion so y'all can really see this magic because the fact that I was able to transform this to this I just posted on my TikTok so I'm like, y'all need to see this transformation. Y'all need to see this transformation. It needs to shake up some people's luck. So, but you guys, I did a wash and go the other day and it really wasn't hitting. And like, it was cool, but I know what my wash and goes give when I use the products that I love. And babes, this, this is what I was expecting the other day and this is what I didn't get. Okay? So, I'm doing a wash and go because my hair is just like this. Even in a puff, it wasn't eating. That's how you know it was real. Like, if the puff don't eat, like, what? What? How the puff don't eat? <laughs> so, I'm just doing my wash and go, and I'll show you guys quickly what I'm using and what I'm doing. So, I also didn't like the product I used because it didn't make my hair feel good like my hair just feels like um not rubbery but like wash and go I'm using my spray bottle to saturate my hair and then i'm taking my cantu brush this is the cantu everything brush and i'm detangling from ends to roots with the wash and go it's very important that your hair is detangled because that's literally going to make or break your results that product is a dub a calm dub and then the product i'm using for my wash and go i kind of feel bad showing you guys this because it's not like i have a link for it but it's the tgi and miracle repair x miracle styling gel you guys are probably sick and tired of hearing me speak about this gel. I don't know why TGI and discontinue this, especially if that new gel. But I just take one pump at a time and just distribute it in my hair. And as I'm distributing it, I'm kind of like finger detangling. One, to make sure that the hair remains detangled. But two, to make sure that the product is being distributed throughout my hair. Second pump. So... This is what my hair looks like after I apply the gel. And I just like to go in and spritz a little water on top. 
and just run my fingers through again just to break up any like gel that's like clumpy because i don't like that that's it y'all i'll be back when i'm done <laughs> Baby, I need to add magician to my resume because this is, this is, this is, but it's a lump for me. I am upset. So this side is a little shrunken because I did this side first, so it's more dried. But baby, but baby, yeah, mm-hmm. This is the wash and go, like T-H-E-E -E, wash and go. But I'm going to go ahead and let it dry. I'm not going to touch it or anything yet. I'm going to let it dry and then I'll like shake it up, move it up and groove it up. But yeah, she moves. She ain't stiff, stiff weird. Because she twerk too. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm about to... Ooh. I'm about to start getting ready for museum date. So I told you guys today I am going to the museum with my girls, Ciara and Suli. Haven't seen them in forever. And we're going to the Fine Arts Museum here in Houston, Texas to see the, I think his name is pronounced Kiande Wiley exhibit. Excuse me if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. But his exhibit in the Museum of Fine Arts here in Houston, Texas. It is open until May 27th, I confirm that date. So, if y'all wanna go on a cute little girl's day, but you don't wanna, you don't necessarily do the brunch, do the, the outside of the outsides. This is my level, this is the perfect level of outside for me. So, I'm about to do my makeup. I'm gonna record a video for you guys. When y'all see me again, my face will be beep. I'm gonna record like a natural, simple makeup routine, like my updated routine. I showed you guys in a recent vlog, but I wanna separate it into like a video now that I kinda like know what I'm doing. Ah, your girl looks good. Okay, your girl, me, I look good. My hair hasn't dried fully yet, so that's why it still looks a little, <laughs> Your girl looks good. I look like a mango slice, mango peach, okay? Period, just, yes, your girl looks good. Okay, gym body. <laughs> this outfit is from Nordstrom, I got it girl years ago but it's this like a ribbed material fits so freaking well i don't have a bra on the girls look real good and then the the girls look real good okay small booties matter say what you got to say about it but yeah this is the outfit and then i'm about to put my shoes on back at it again trolling with the christmas tree <laughs> but here's the full outfit i wanted to give you guys a glance before i left out church person <laughs> but this is the outfit of the day i did a youtube short to show you guys but the set is from nordstrom sneakers are nike bronx bag through and through bag is gucci i'm gonna wear my bag like this though like like that i think that's cute and then earrings and zara they're old i've had these for a while now Rings, I got this one in London, thrifting, and this one is from ASOS, I believe, and then my Armada's watch, and that's it, so, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it should really be criminal, oh, hey, girl, did you see parking, I think I saw some, if you make a left, oh, yeah, I think she's leaving, But it should be criminal that I'm from New York City and I cannot parallel park. Like, if y'all saw me getting into the spot, y'all would be key keying at me. Oh, girl, I just said that! <laughs> I was struggling. Oh, uh, okay. Let me see that. okay. <laughs> Yo, I literally just said that I don't know how to parallel park. Let me move back so she can have some space. Where's your camera? Okay, you look so cute, Ciara.
I don't know how I used to vlog with this lens full time because it's so zoomed in. Like, I literally have you guys across the dash. Like, across the dash. I hope the audio is okay. I ran into a... Not ran into. I met up with a train. So, I'm just sitting here waiting. And I'm like, I miss my people dumb. But my hair came out good. Like, so good. Y'all see this wash and go? This is what I expect from a wash and go. Definition, volume. And my makeup, I did go ahead and record it. So, I will have that coming for you guys soon. Makeup. Beats by Kenny. Oh, focus. Do not embarrass me. I don't think I packed the extra battery for this camera. But I'll make it quick. So, I had the most perfect girls day with my girl Ciara and Suli. We went to the Museum of Fine Arts here in Houston, Texas and they actually have two like black art exhibits right now. So if you guys are in the Houston area, if you guys are visiting Houston or y'all just looking for something to do in Houston, highly recommend. They have the, um, I don't want to pronounce his name incorrectly and I should know after I done listened to the name a million times but the Kehile, Kehide, Kehinde Wiley, Kehinde Wiley i think that's how you pronounce it his exhibit and it was really really good i love that exhibit because well i think it's the museum overall they have like a little audio um aspect to it where you just click the remote i showed you guys and you put it to your ear and it plays a message i feel like museums either have no audio or the audio is just like on speaker so you have to listen to it at the same rate as everyone else when it's like i just got here so can you start from the top so yeah I don't know why I stopped my seatbelt on park. But either way, that was really good. The art, like his attention to detail. I'm not going to put too much of it in the vlog because I really want you guys to go. And also, as I mentioned earlier, like, now he's on tour, but like, exhibits go on tour. So he was in San Francisco first. Now he's in Houston. I'm not sure what his next stop is, but I'll like keep you guys updated if I see it. But if he goes to your city, like if that exhibit goes to the Museum of Fine Arts in your city highly recommend that you go like it was such a great experience and then we went to the what was it called we went right across the thing the way to the it was called the multiplicity blackness and contemporary american collage but basically all of the art pieces were like collages of things that resonated with like black culture or occurred in black culture and it was just so interesting seeing how people took like occasions or instances or memories that we have as black people and like compiled it to create a piece of art and the i was telling ciara and suli that the piece that stood out the most to me was this artist she basically made a collage that kind of like told the story from her perspective of that young man who went to go pick up his siblings and he rang like the wrong doorbell on the lady like that piece was so beautiful and like that was a message i always held close to my heart because we hear all of these stories about you know black individuals that but imagine you are going to pick up your like you literally and most of these stories are this way like you're not doing anything wrong but america just hates black people like america does not mess with black people and even at the end it was like a video and one of the girls she said what would america be if they love black people the way they love black culture and i said mm, a word like literally a word everybody loves black culture but nobody loves black people and i'm just like did y'all forget where the culture came from? Did you forget that we are the culture? How are you gonna love black culture without loving black people? Like, it's just so backwards. But either way, both exhibits were amazing. And we paid $10 for the ticket. And it basically gave you access to all of, like, the specialty exhibits. So we were able to go to any of them that we wanted to. But we chose to go to the two black ones. So, yeah. And then afterwards, we went to this place. It was called Bo Bodega Tacos. I got a burrito. And the girls, I think both of them had got enchiladas. But the food was cool for the price it was. My battery's dying now. I'm literally about to go in Target and possibly Sephora. There's traffic to go home right now. So I do have to make an exchange in Target. So I'm like, I might as well come to this Target. And then it's a Sephora right here. Boom, boom, boom. You do the math. I'm about to be in there. Do I have another? I don't think I packed another battery. I'm so sad because I want to talk to y'all. I have my other camera, but it's so big and clunky. All right. I'll see y'all when I get home. Hey y'all, happy Friday! I thought I lost, not I lost my camera. I thought I misplaced my camera and it was in my car from yesterday. But either way, happy Friday. It's Friday, April the 12th. And your girl is coming to pick something up. I came back to 
Veil Lives, the store that I went to in my last vlog. Because I have this outfit in mind for tomorrow. You guys know we're going to Everyday People tomorrow. And they posted the shirt yesterday. Yeah, so they have the shirt in stock. So I'm going to go. But yeah, so I came to pick up the shirt so that I could wear it tomorrow. I only got like four hours of sleep. So a coffee was definitely in order this morning. And I feel a little bit more awake. But I low-key still feel like I need a little... A little nappy now first of all i got my shirt that i wanted second of all it really frustrates me that people don't know how to drive because before i got my car i'm like damn i really like didn't feel confident that i knew how to drive but then once i got on the road i'm like nah baby you're not the problem like there are people who have less intellectual skills than you when it comes to driving operating a vehicle like i'm just like I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I don't like you guys. <laughs> I've been such a terrible vlogger. I don't remember the last clip that I recorded. But either way, the show continues, okay? The show must go on. It's currently Saturday, April the 13th. Today's the day of everyday people. I I honestly just been getting my house together and getting my mind together. So that's why I've been like, you know, not focused on the camera on vlogging. But tonight, baby, <laughs> it's up. It's lit. So, it's currently noon, and I was like, I need to hit the gym before I start getting ready. So, I'm about to head into the gym and get my workout in my 5 out of 5. This is my 4th week doing my 5 out of 5. Next week is going to be my 5th week doing my 5 out of 5. I'm too hyped. But, I'm going to go work out. And then, I was trying to figure out my outfit all morning. So, I can figure out what I'm doing with my hair. Because, you know, the hair is a part of the outfit too. And upon further deliberation, I'm going to do a wash and go. So I need to go home after the gym, wash my hair, style it, and allow it to air dry all before this evening. I have a very packed day. In case you guys didn't get that from all of the stuff I just said. But I'm going to head into the gym. Yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. I only have 30 minutes on my memory card, so I'll see how much I can record, if anything and share my workout because i don't think in this vlog i have any workout content and i'm trying not to give you guys too many workouts in a, in each vlog but i want to show y'all workouts still you know so i'll see y'all in the gym hey guys i just got ready to head to everyday people my hair is not dried yet um i'm not upset about it but i just wish it was like more but it'll get there it'll get there so let me show you guys my outfits very quickly before I head out. Top is from Forever 21. I bought this the other day in the store. It's this like brown newspaper-esque top. Jeans are nudies. These are actually men's jeans, but they fit so good. Nudie on a booty. And then my gold Air Max 97s. My Louis Vuitton Vanity PM bag. Sunglasses of Tom Ford. This is my first time actually wearing them. I purchased these for myself for Christmas and Christmas for Christmas 2022. So it's been a minute and I still haven't worn them. This is why I said I need to go in my ooh, 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 in my closet because I have stuff. And jewelry, thrifted, ASOS, Amazon, Hermes watch, and that is it. So I'll see you guys outside. I have my Osmo pocket in my bag so that I can vlog. So yeah, I will check in with y'all once I leave. I'm going to, um, I'm actually going to the event with Fatima. So I'm about to go meet up with her. We're going to take some pictures. Oh, I need my camera. That would be smart. <laughs> it's the following day your girl just pulled up to the gym i've been being productive all morning and it's currently about to be 3 p.m but either way review of yesterday because we never came back to chat but 
long story short everyday people was okay it was okay this is my first everyday people and i feel like people make it seem like it's like you know such a fun lively day party it was cool don't get me wrong but it wasn't like over the top like i'm not like oh my god i can't wait until the next one but that's this is just my personal opinion the crowd i was expected for a mixed crowd but i feel like majority of the crowd were at this point of my life on my journey when i go outside I'm like, oh, okay, let me, you know, I put myself in places where I can find like-minded people. And not just men, but, like, if I want to make new friends, X, Y, and Z. And I feel like, one, the crowd of everyday people here, it was majority of men I wouldn't be interested in. If you get what I'm saying. And, I, listen, I love them, okay? I love them down. But to me, when I'm going outside, I'm like, mission, find me a husband. Mission, where's my man? Mission, where's my baby daddy? And it wasn't giving that. It was giving, like, the boys were outside. Like, <laughs> so I wasn't expecting that. But also, I kind of went into the event with no real expectations. I was like, you know, it's going to give... I was expecting a New York vibe because I would never expect anything in Houston to compare to New York as far as, like parties but the djs were all cool separately but when i go to events and they have multiple djs i'm expecting each dj to play like their independent set but it seemed like the djs were like of different genres so when we got there around seven the like reggae afrobeats dj was like just finishing their set and then the next dj was kind of like R&B throwbacks and then the next DJ was like from New York so Pop Smoke, Young and May like I really felt like I was in a New York party with that DJ but I wish that each DJ played like their set from top to bottom like if they want to do R&B um reggae and then like I don't know but each DJ seemed to be a separate genre so it was like if you didn't get there during the set time of like the DJs you were interested in it was kind of just like mm -hmm. What else? Oh, baby, the bar. The bar. I don't even have one for me to show y'all. But either way, your girl paid $5 for a bottle of Ozarka. $5 for a bottle of Ozarka. In case you guys don't know, Ozarka is just, I guess, like our water. Like a Poland Spring. If you're from New York, you know Poland Spring. It's spring water. I paid $5 for a bottle of spring water. Let me put this into perspective for y'all real quick. Because I'm not a cheap person. I'm not the frugalest person ever i'm mindful of how i spend money and i spend money on things that make sense right i pay five dollars for a bottle of water i usually pay three dollars and 29 cents for a case of 24 bottles of water i was so pissed off but at the same time it was also very hot in there the venue they had it was a warehouse and there was like an outdoor patio and then the rest of it was inside it was hotter inside than it was outside so it was very hot in there i didn't want to drink because i feel like drinking adds about like 20 degrees to whatever temperature your body's feeling at the moment and i was just like i'm not passing out in here like i'm not embarrassing myself passing out in here so i was like i'm not indulging in any alcoholic beverages i don't want to know how much you guys are charging for a drink if y'all charging five dollars as well ozarka i wasn't interested in drinking anyway because i was just like you know it's not really my vibe i didn't really want to drink so yeah it was hot inside i was like i need this water so that i can make sure I, I remain hydrated because especially in the summertime when you go out to day parties and stuff it's easy for you to forget you're not hydrating yourself especially when you're engaging in the libations you're not drink you're not thinking about if you drink enough water so when i go outside especially when it's hot i make sure i'm very intentional about my water intake because i'm not trying to embarrass myself and pass out in anybody's function in anybody's event in anybody's establishment i am not passing out so i'm always mindful of drinking water and obviously you couldn't bring water into the venue so i had to pay five dollars for a bottle of water i was pretty pissed off about that it was cool it was nice like to get out the house and do something but if they they're doing another everyday people in houston in like august or september if it's at the same venue i'm a little on edge about it so we'll see if i end up going to the next one but this was the first 
stop of their 2024 tour so the full schedule is now up on their page i'll put it on the screen here so you guys can see let me know if you guys have been to an everyday people before or if you guys plan on going if they're coming to your city or your country comment and let me know but i also feel like each city brings different vibes so now i understand why people were on twitter like i'm going to everyday people in dc i'm traveling to new york to go i'm going to miami i'm going here i'm going there because i could see each city being a different vibe because it really depends on one of the djs and i don't think they're using the same djs for like every city so it depends on the djs and it also depends on the crowd of people that's my review of everyday people but I had a good time yesterday, and I look cute as freak. So, I got some cute pictures, too. But I was just tired. I didn't go to bed until 2 a.m. I told you guys I was supposed to go to yoga in the park this morning. <laughs> didn't make it. I just was just like, I need to get rest. This past week, I was so tired from everything, like mentally, physically tired. I'm like, I'm not going to beat myself up about sleeping in this morning. Even though I would have liked to go to yoga in the park, I was just like, I, I physically can't get up and go. Like, if I do, it's going to throw off my whole day because I'm just going to be tired. I'm going to be aggy. And I don't want that energy going into a Sunday with the day I prepare for my week. Like, that's going to set the tone. And I don't want that tone. So, I ain't going to do that to myself. But either way, I'm about to go in the gym. This is my first workout of the week. We are up in it this week. Up in it in weights. Up in it in workouts up in it and everything i've been getting more into the steer master so when i'm on the steer master i just i try to go for like 20 minutes and i'll just put on like a youtube video because i feel like that helps pass the time and weights i'm gonna try to lift heavier but um i don't want to like pull anything or stress my body out so i'm very like taking it one step at a time but this is about to be my fifth consecutive week doing five days a week so i'm really happy about that I think I'll be able to make it up to seven before I leave for my birthday festivities. So this is fifth week, six, or I'll only be able to do six. So yeah, I'll be happy once that's done. So I'm about to head into the gym. I'll bring you guys in because it's not packed. So I'll show you guys a little behind the scenes of my workout. But I told you guys, I'm not trying to give you guys too much workout content because I know some people are probably here like, girl, all you do is go to the gym. It is, but I'm trying to show y'all different things that I do too, you know, because she's, she's versatile. She's multi-talented. She's multi-interested. Like she's, she's that. So I'll see y'all. guys happy monday today is monday april the 15th we are officially halfway through the month of april today's payday and today's the last day of the Sephora savings event and today's the last day of this vlog sad but also happy so that i can edit another video and get it out to you guys but i'm about to head out real quick here's the outfit of the day this lavender two-piece set is from tier nyc a black owned brand but it's like these sweat shorts in a tee it is oversized it's cute and comfy i threw my hair up in this bun girl here it needs to be refreshed but i ain't have time for all of that so don't clock in just look at the bun from far away <laughs> bag i'm wearing my prada re-edition bag and shoes i'm wearing my white and silver thank you for marrows i told y'all y'all gonna get sick of me in these sneakers so i hope y'all ain't think i was lying but I'm about to head out, so I'll chat to you guys in the car. Hey, y'all. So, today, as I mentioned, is the last day of the Sephora Spring Savings event. And I have some items from Sephora that I need to return slash exchange. Y'all, that, um, let me tell y'all, because y'all know I'm going to always keep it a buck with y'all. The Urban Decay Foundation is going back because in the review, I don't know, I was just on the edge. Like, I wasn't really sold on the undertone. And after further analysis, it really gives, like, orange, red versus neutral. And I can't be out here looking like a Oompa Loompa. Like, excuse me? So, yeah, that's going back. 
and then i realized that the shade let me show you the sephora bronzer the new one this one yeah my this for my hole it's too light for me like it's it's my skin tone but it's like it's supposed to be a bronzer so it has to be you know a little darker and it doesn't give that it gives same skin tone so this is going back but i'm kind of sad because they don't have this in store so let me swatch it for y'all to see what i'm saying it's like my skin tone i don't know if you guys could even see that they don't have this in store yet so it's only online and i was like i'm not purchasing like i'm not gonna do another online order so i'm just gonna return that and then i'll just get it another time but i really wanted to get it to show you guys what i think about it or whatever but that's gonna have to wait i came to i want to pop into sephora and Kohl's. i don't know if i ever told you guys i think i probably did but sephora and Kohl's has like different things than sephora sometimes i don't know about in store but definitely online i rarely go i think i went to a sephora and Kohl's one time when i was still living in new york the one in port chester but since i moved out here i haven't been to a sephora and Kohl's. but i was scrolling on Kohl's website and basically it seems like all of the old like gift sets and like holiday exclusives that sephora has like they'll get it out of their regular stores and they'll push it to coal so when i was scrolling i saw they even had a two pack of the charlotte tilbury set and spray for 30 dollars, and i'm like that's the deal they usually have for the gift sets like during the holiday season but that's currently at coal into the sephora and coals to see you know what things are looking like i also have to use the bathroom and then afterwards i'm going to y'all see that y'all see that y'all see that y'all see that yeah are you yeah uh-huh oh least yeah so <laughs> the, ooh, it's too close not so much so let me change my battery now because it's like on 50 percent and we need that hundo we need that hundo we have that hundo yeah we have that hundo mm -hmm. I've been hearing everybody speak about Malro's place. Let's see what it smells like. It's okay. today for the first time and I kind of like it I'm so tempted to get another one of these what I was saying is I'm so tempted to get another one of these I do like hair videos like vlogs i saw you guys had this but i heard this was only available in europe the hair care products it's not in regular sephora i'm going to tell you right now it's on sale because it's going to be discontinued <gasps> and it's crazy because i was just talking to somebody from sephora and they said that they heard the scrub was good oh that's good okay mm -hmm. and that's the last one uh, that was the last one over there, the one over there. okay oh they have the minis of these i didn't know that the seven virtues came in minis do you want to get this one though? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. The scrub, $24, somebody selling it on um, Amazon. They might have gone on more. Right, more. but it's not available retail. It's $6. Right, plus 30% off. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, but I can check. I'm okay, no problem. Thank you, ma'am. Here, Miss Gina. Right back. Okay, thank you, Miss Gina. <laughs> Oh, 
So guys, I am back in the car and I want to show you guys what I got from Kohl's. Because girl, when I tell you, I think I literally hit the jackpot. I think I won. I won the Sephora Spring Savings event because, let me show y'all what I got. So I told you guys that I wanted to try Sephora's hair care. Spoke to a lady in Sephora. She was like, oh, it's only in Europe, blah, 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 blah. But she was raving about the scalp, scalp scrub because she was at one of her co-workers went to Europe. Got the scalp scrub, loved it. And then when, when she went to repurchase it, she realized we don't sell that in the U.S. Like, it's only over there in Europe. So, y'all, look what I found. Excuse me? And it was the last one. So you already know it was sitting there waiting for me to come snatch it up. So this is the Sephora Collection ACV Shampooing Exfoliant Hair Scrub. This was on sale for $6. The original price was $12. So I basically got it for $6 plus the 30% off. So I paid $4.20 for this. It comes with 6 uh 6.76 fluid ounces. And y'all, when I look this up on Google, people are reselling this for $45. Like... 45 cash is crazy, but it was sealed in store, so I couldn't smell it. So let's smell it now. Okay, it smells cool. It smells like, um, like fruit punch mixed with apple cider vinegar. That's what it smells like. So I can't wait for wash day for me to try this out and see what it's working with. What you working with? What you working with? Pay for this. I'm on the phone with Kim, and of course she doesn't know the lyrics to no bars. I have my AirPod and they can't hear you. Oh, you muted yourself. Oh, yeah, I should have told you I have my AirPod in. Um, next up, I got this Sephora Collection Leave-In Conditioner. Also, another product that is not sold in Sephora stores. So, I won't have a link for these because they don't sell it um, online. You would just have to go in your Sephora and Kohl's if you're next to Kohl's and see if they have it but even if you get it for the six dollars that's still a good price because it's 50 percent off the regular price but this is the savoir collection amino acid leave-in conditioner it's a hydrated leave-in conditioner and it says that it is formulated with amino acid and vitamin f i never heard of vitamin f but it says it's known to reduce breakage so yeah i know i love me a little leave-in spray situation so i got this it smells like um I feel like this is what Kmart used to smell like. But it also smells like a nurse rope too. I don't know, but I got this. Last but not least, I got another one of these Sephora bronzers in the shade Ibiza. Y'all know this is my all-time favorite bronzing powder. I showed you guys that I got this one from online. This is like the new version of this. But I got this in the shade 3 Coconut Retreat and it's too light for me. So I would need the darkest shade, which is number 4. And I don't know if I'm going to like the formula. So I said, let me just go ahead and get another one of these because why not? So each of these products came to $4.20. So I ended up spending $12 in Sephora. I love that for me. I love that for me. I love that for my pockets. So now I'm going to head over to the regular Sephora so that I could exchange these items. The Urban Decay Foundation, this is going back. And the bronzer is going back. And I'm gonna see what else I need, what else I need from the sale. So, I'll see y'all in a few. My camera just took the worst tumble. I really hope it's okay. Cause at this point, <laughs> I really don't understand the purpose of malls having EV chargers that are off. Like, who forgot to plug it in? Let me know. Let me know who forgot to plug it in or let me know who forgot to pay the electricity bill. Because what's the purpose of you guys having EV chargers being an EV-friendly shopping mall and the chargers are off? And then I swung around because I'm like, I remember I saw some EV chargers over here by Macy's. I'm at Baybrook Mall, by the way. Baby... The way everyone in Houston, Texas has a Tesla, the way everyone in Houston, Texas has a Tesla, they're always packed and stacked at the EV chargers. So all the chargers are taken right now. 
kind of pissed off because my car is almost on E and my plan was to come here, take my time and shop, give my, my car two hours to charge and then I could just use my electricity to head back home and they ain't leave no charger for me. They left zero charges for your girl. So I'm going to go in the mall real quick. I'm going to... I'm going to... What I'm going to do? I'm going to... I'll go in Sephora, come back out and see if there's a charger for me, and then go back in. But I'm just pissed off because all the chargers on the other side are off. Like, the screen isn't even on. As soon as I plugged it in, it said red. I said, okay, because usually it's like green, blue, red, green, blue, red, like loading. But baby, this time it just said, I'm dead. Don't bother me. Like, what do you want? <laughs> Yeah, why did I never know that when you shop in store during the Sephora sale, the discount doesn't come out automatically? So, I basically returned those two items and I got another one of these. Love this. I got this in PR at first, but I had to spend my money on this because it's so good. The Milk Cloud Glow Primer. But when I did the math, I'm like, the amount she gave me back don't add up to what the difference should be. So, I looked at my receipt and basically the 20% didn't come off on the new item but the discount applied to like the previous two items that i purchased during the sale so she basically had to like fix it but um i think i ended up getting more than i should have i don't know i think so but either way i'm about to get something to eat <laughs> i think i'm gonna get kava and then I'm gonna go home. I need to go to the gym today. But I really, really need something to eat. I really, really need something to eat. Hey babe, so I am back home and it's now time to end this vlog, you guys. But before I end off the vlog, I just wanted to share a word that has been helping me get through my days for the past few weeks. If something doesn't feel like it's for you, it's not for you. And at the time when you make that realization like, oh, you know, this doesn't feel right or this doesn't seem right or I'm confused or things aren't going the way I want them to. It may feel frustrating at first because it's, you have so many questions, right? You want to know why does it feel this way? Why me? why this like we have so many questions but little do we know that it's literally it literally a blessing in disguise and we don't see it as that at first because we're so hung up on this frustration of like why 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 that we don't sit back and think like oh wait pause maybe this isn't for me maybe you know this isn't the direction i should be going on or maybe this isn't the perfect match for me or, you know, like, I deserve bigger. I deserve better. We don't think of it that way because we're just like, why can't we get this? Like, we think we want this. So we're like, why can't we get it? You know? But always remember that your steps are already ordered. And you need to continue to live in your purpose. And anything that does not align with your purpose, babes, it's not for you. It is not for you. It's not for you. So I just felt like I needed to share that message throughout this vlog so that you guys can receive it. Those who you don't need the motivation or those who have been going through a confusing season or a season where you may feel like let down or things aren't going the way you want them to that's fine if things aren't going the way that you want them to but life isn't supposed to go the way that we want it to life is supposed to go the way that god has ordered our steps the way the vision that god has for us the purpose that god has for us here so don't ever feel like let down if things don't go the way you want them to because that's that's not the way it should be you know so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog we did a lot we really did a lot so i really hope that you guys enjoyed we went on the museum date we went to everyday people we shopped the sephora sale girl i forgot what else did we do we did a lot we really did a lot so i really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog thank you guys so much for the comments on my previous vlog helping me try to resolve like you know the car issue situation I always read your comments and I'm always learning things from you guys. So remember, this is always a two-way street. So y'all got to talk to me. I got to talk to y'all. And you know, it's a two-way street. I want y'all to feel like we on FaceTime.
down below in the comments so make sure you guys comment with a purple emoji if you made it all the way until the end with the umbrella with the purple heart whatever emojis are purple leave it down below your um zodiac symbol leave it down below because all of those is purple and comment and let me know your favorite part of this vlog so i know what to continue to implement and show you guys in my vlogs what you guys enjoy seeing let me know in the comment section down below i love you guys so so much if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up drop a comment down below and make sure you guys are subscribed and your bell notifications are on because your girl has so much content coming and i would hate for you guys to miss it so make sure you guys are subscribed to my youtube channel i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in my next one